What to do about dry skin? Have you noticed that no matter how much lotion you use, you can never go without the lotion for even one day without your dry skin coming right back? Lotion just covers up the symptoms, it doesn't fix the problem. Dr. Campese's Miracle Soft Skin Recipe One after showering, dry off, then spray liquid iodine over the skin and gently pat it until dry. Use potassium iodide from Biotics Research, it is a clear liquid. We carry this at the office. Do not use the purple red stuff from the drugstore. 2. Then rub organic virgin coconut oil into the skin until absorbed as you would a lotion. You can buy this at Whole Foods or any health food store. It comes in pint jars and is sold for cooking purposes. That's it. Just a few weeks of doing this daily will create long lasting soft and moist skin, though weekly maintenance may be required. More info Dry skin is one of the signs of a thyroid imbalance. Even if your blood work says your thyroid is normal, it may not be. To check your thyroid function, you can measure your oral temperature when you first wake up in the morning before you get out of bed. If your temperature is below 98.8 or above 99.2, then you have a thyroid problem that needs to be addressed in order to permanently correct your dry skin. Menstruating women need to check their temperature on day 2 of menses, but everyone else can check any day of the month. If your temperature is 98.8 to 99.2, then your thyroid probably isn't the problem but there is likely a nutritional component to your dry skin. The two most common nutrient deficiencies that lead to dry skin are in healthy fats and a mineral called iodine. Both can be absorbed directly by the skin. Iodine is a necessary nutrient for the thyroid and is often all someone's thyroid may need to correct the body temperature when their thyroid is mildly out of balance. But iodine is also required by the skin itself in order to maintain softness. Coconut oil is a healthy saturated fat. Saturated fats like those found in coconut oil will help the skin to retain moisture. Coconut oil and iodine both have anti-yeast and antibacterial properties. Sometimes severe dry skin will have a yeast infection on the skin which this recipe will take care of in most cases. Other things to watch out for. Chlorine robs the skin of iodine, and as you might already know, contributes to dry skin. If your tap water is chlorinated, then you need to put a filter on your shower head. They cost about. 25 at most hardware stores and last about 6 months before needing to be changed. If you swim or hot tub frequently in chlorinated or brominated water, you may need to apply the iodine topically after each pool exposure. Some of my patients who swim a lot take higher doses of iodine internally that seem to combat the drying effects of chlorine on the skin. Antibacterial soaps are harsh and often dry out the skin. These soaps should not be used. Bleach, rubbing alcohol, and other harsh cleansers should not touch the skin regularly, they quickly dry out the skin. Gloves should be used when handling automotive fluids, hair dyes and perms, and so on. Clothes detergents and softeners are not completely washed out of the clothes in the washer. Their residues are absorbed from the clothes into your skin. Some people are unknowingly allergic or sensitive to certain brands of these, causing skin issues including dryness. If you won't put it in your mouth, you shouldn't put it on your skin. The skin will absorb any liquid that touches it. What else can I do? If this doesn't correct the dry skin and your temperature is still off, then you will need to see someone like me to evaluate your thyroid in depth. If your temperature is normal and you try the two steps above for a few weeks and your skin is still dry, you may have a hormone imbalance that we could evaluate and correct. Proper levels of estrogen and progesterone are required for healthy skin too. So try it out and let me know what you think. Looking forward.